Um, they call it a last resort, but today one local school board at least discussed the idea of arming teachers in the classroom. Now, the discussion comes less than a week after the Florida school massacre. As Fox 5's Natalie Fultz reports, the board member who brought up the idea is stressing that his system should take many steps to keep students safe before arming teachers. The Floyd County School Board tells me they are still in the very early stages of figuring out exactly what they're going to do to keep kids safe at school in Floyd County. But Tuesday at their school board meeting, one of the ideas they discussed is arming teachers. After last week's massacre in Florida, it seems as if everyone is talking about how to keep kids safe at school. The Floyd County School Board met Tuesday to discuss some options. You know, stuff like this happens and you want to, you know, everybody talks about it. Then after a couple, you know, week or two, it kind of gets put back off on the back burner. And uh, that's not what I want to happen. I want to make sure that, you know, we keep this as a focus and do everything we can to make sure we protect our kids. School board member Jay Shell says he hopes putting guns in the hands of teachers is the very last resort. Nobody wants that to happen in our school system. And again, that's a last ditch effort. I mean, there's no, you know, this is not policy we're talking about. This are just some ideas. Floyd County parents concerned about their kids' safety also weighing in on the controversial idea. So if we send a signal to the community that this school is protected, I think it's less likely that they would turn into be a victim. Other parents say they are strongly against arming teachers. They've implemented a camera where you push a button and you have to get some sort of permission to come in. According to the Georgia School Boards Association, a state law was passed back in 2014 that allows school districts to train employees to carry guns. But the GSBA says as of now, they are unaware of any school districts in the state doing so. In Floyd County, Natalie Foltz, Fox 5 News.